Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing extremely well. Now, well, first things first, if you think that this video is some kind of a shortcut to get a 4.0, then you are at the wrong place and you may want to reconsider watching this video. However, if you are ready to put in some work and just needed some tips and tricks, then you are at the right place. In today's video, I will be giving you 5 tips that can help you ace that 4.0 in this semester. Now, let's go ahead and waste no time. Tip number 1. Be consistent. As mundane as this sounds, this is essentially the key to success in university academics. However, by consistency, I do not mean that you should study a little every day as that phrase never sat well with me either. The thing about me is that I can't study just for the sake of it. I always need something to push me to actually sit down and study. And that is basically the never ending cycle of quizzes and assignments. Thus, what you should be doing is to prepare every quiz well and before you know it, right before the finals when others are cramming things, you would already be at ease. And I'm saying this from personal experience. All you have to do is prepare every single topic well enough before it's quiz. This will ensure that you do well on not only the quiz, but at the end of the semester, even for the final, you're already prepared for it. Tip number two work hard but work smarter now this thing never made sense to me at least not until i was in school but undergrad academics hits like differently trust me when i say that if you try to do everything on your own you may not end up doing very well in every single component of your grade uh, because there are just too many for every single course Hence, always have a group of friends and share the workload. This doesn't mean at all to plagiarize from one another, but what it does mean is to share the workload smartly. So basically use a bit of those brain cells. For example, if you have an assignment with like, let's say 20 questions, divide these between four other friends of yours. And in this way, you, you know, each one of you have like four questions each and that's it. Uh, before you know it, you will be done uh, with this assignment way before you thought and bingo, that's it. Now, obviously, this does not mean that you should not use your brain cells and just like copy from one another. All it means is taking a bit of help here and there. Now, moving on to my tip number three, which is do not be all over the place. Coming from school and always having these set books for different subjects, we never acquire the art of figuring out what resources to use when left on our own. The biggest mistake you can make in university is try to do everything for a particular course. And many times you would be overdoing it and only exhausting yourself and you will not see the effect on your grade. The thing is that you see, the first few weeks of your semester should always be invested in trying to understand the instructor which is offering a particular course. You should try to realize that which book would be best to use, if to use any, and which places should you particularly practice from. Now, usually the instructor slides would be your greatest help and the recommended readings would be something secondary. You should always Google your assignment questions and try to figure out which website is the instructor particularly using and you might end up finding you know similar questions that might end up popping up in your future quizzes or even exams so practice from such sites as much as you can tip number four past papers are the key now just like in a levels and o levels fsc or metric we solved our board exams uh past exams basically so similar is the case in university well almost similar for this, you must be good friends with your seniors and you must try to acquire all the past quizzes, exams and assignments that you possibly can. The aim here is not to memorize these past resources and then hope the questions would get repeated, like although that would be nice, but rather the goal is to understand the examiner's preference, exam pattern and more. Now this is fundamental and the key to reducing your work of finding questions online and trust me, this will bring your effort to the bare minimum because you already understand how the examiner or how the instructor actually rolls with this course. Tip number four, understand the curve. 
remember how in igcse and a levels we had those thresholds and they would always allow us to know exactly on you know what is the average marks that we should be getting in each paper to get a certain grade well similarly you must understand how the grading of a particular course would happen this means finding out whether the course is absolutely graded or relatively absolutely graded means that there are set boundaries for grades e.g. 90 plus you know 90% plus will be an a 80% plus would be a b and so on relatively graded basically means that whatever the mean score in the course is the mean score is basically on average how much everyone has scored in the course that would basically uh, be given the average grade usually a b or a b plus and then every half a standard deviation above means bump of one grade so for example let's say for one particular course if the mean is 60% and the standard deviation is 10% then if you are 65% or above then if you're getting a b on the mean you would be getting let's say a b plus on 65% on a 70% or plus you would be getting an a minus and a 75% plus you would be getting an a so you see that is how the curve works and it might be different for every case or every course so that is something that you should figure out usually you can ask your seniors and they will help guide you or you can even directly confront the instructor with re regards to this now as a bonus tip i'll give you something else and that is enjoy the process it is too easy to get overwhelmed by the peer pressures you know sphere that surrounds you in university and you may even end up consuming yourself with books alone but let me tell you something if all you do in university is study then 10 years down the lane you would have nothing to look back on trust me while working hard is essential you must give yourself a break every now and then do not be too harsh on yourself for messing up a single exam or quiz trust yourself that you can always bounce back and with that being said this brings me to the end of the video and i hope that you enjoyed it i'll see you next time bye bye